Ladies and gentlemen, throttle twisters and chrome enthusiasts, welcome to another roaring episode of Kickstands Up Radio, the only podcast where we discuss everything from kickstands to crazy road antics. I'm your host, the Rebel Rider Tony P., and if you're wondering why we're called Kickstands Up Radio, it's not because we're secretly teaching you yoga poses for bikers. Though, downward dog on a Harley would be quite the sight. No, we're here to bring you the juiciest tales from the asphalt jungle, the camaraderie of the road, and the questionable fashion choices that only bikers can truly appreciate. So, buckle up, or rather, kick stands up, because we're about to take you on a wild ride through the hilarious world of two-wheeled mayhem. If you're tuning in, hoping for serious discussions about the aerodynamics of leather jackets or the philosophical meaning behind helmet hair, you might be in the wrong place. Here on Kickstands Up Radio, we're all about the lighter side of the biker culture. We're the only podcast where we believe that the answer to every problem is more chrome. And where our research involves asking the important questions like, how many bikers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They prefer to be a little dim. So sit back, rev your imaginary throttle, get ready for the roller coaster of laughs, tales from the road, and maybe a questionable motorcycle maintenance tip or two. This is Kickstands Up, where the only thing that we take seriously is not taking things too seriously. Oh yeah, now this is a biker bar. Welcome to Kickstands Up Radio, the podcast where we discuss all things motorcycles, from the latest gear to the best routes for your group ride. Here's your host, the Harley Hooligan, Rebel Rider Tony P, and he's here to rev up your engines and tickle your funny bone. So grab a cold one, pull up a leather seat, and let's ride into the hilarious world of biker culture. Just remember, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much room in the garage. Excuse me, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Gentlemen, let's broaden our minds. Today, I'm so glad that you guys joined us, but we're going to start from the mailbag. We've had a couple of our loyal listeners write us with questions, and we want to help them out. First comes... Sean LeBlount, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce your last name, Sean, I'm, I do apologize, from Warrington, Missouri. Hey guys, I'm new to the podcast and it started from the beginning. I'm here in Missouri and I ride for a nonprofit organization called the Missouri Thunder Veterans Charities. I will put that link in the description down below if y'all want to check that out. We're the ones that put on the ride for the Lance Corporal Jared Schmidt from Wentzville, Missouri. I ride a 2007 night train and wondering if you have done or would be willing to do a podcast on the night train motorcycle from HD from Harley Davidson. Thank you. Keep up what you're doing. Sean, thank you very much. Uh, As you can see from the pic here, um, where am I at here? Right over here. Uh, you'll see Sean's Night Train. Beautiful bike. Great picture, Sean. I do love it. Uh, it looks like that's either the Missouri River or the Mississippi, but I'm betting it's going to be the Missouri. Sean, thank you very much for writing us on that. Uh, you know, And we do want to accommodate uh, all, of our, um, all of our listeners. Uh, and with that being said, uh, I do have some info that you know, uh, might be helpful to anybody else out there. Now, I got most of this from the MCN, which is a motorcycle news network. Uh, You know, I do not personally have a night train, so uh, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but, you know, uh, I've looked at them, and they are beautiful bikes. Uh, But they do, uh, you know, the ratings that they've gotten uh, from... Night Train Riders is four and a half out of five stars. I mean, to me, that's pretty good. 
I know the annual servicing cost of this is right around a hundred and five to a hundred and you know twenty five dollars somewhere in that area, uh, and then it has a low low seat height. Man, these things are low mean and certainly awesome. That saddle only sits twenty six inches from the ground. If you're in the market for a used one, and granted they'd have to be used because Harley doesn't make them anymore. Uh, but if you're in the market for one, you can expect from a dealer, of course, probably not from an individual, but from a dealer, the used market's going to be anywhere between 11.5 and, you know, 12.2. Uh, you know, that's what you're going to be looking at now. Uh, let's see, the ride quality and the brakes, you know, uh, it gets a 3 out of 5. And it is probably one of Harley's most reliable engines. Uh, the Harley Night Train delivers a grunt and fabulous noise. Uh, if you bend the stock silencers and fit a pair of open cans on her, uh, that lazy U.S. style cruising and not a lot else, Harley's engineering hasn't moved on much on this since the 60s. Uh, so, for fans, that's the appeal of the Harley Night Train. For others, and it's, you know, it's anathema. You know, modern Harleys, uh, they set the benchmark for paint and chrome. Uh, on, on the Harley Night Train, uh, it's no exception. What's more, the Harley Davidson Night Train is a big engine, the understressed and under engineered, and generally, the motorcycles themselves are ridden gently uh, and regularly serviced, uh, all of which adds up to you know, very few reliability woes. When it was new, it was regarded as something of a classy and iconic motorcycle. Uh, very particularly desirable, um, and that keeps the used values high on her. Now, nothing to get excited about. Uh, but the Harley-Davidson Night Train also has all the custom bells and whistles where it matters. Uh, all served up uh, to provide a fairly classy, luxurious uh, you know, concoction. Uh, and it's not a touring motorcycle, but the Night Train will certainly pull the crowds. Alright, so just to give you some stats on it, uh, it does have uh, the air-cooled V-Twin. Uh, five gears, uh, it's a steel tube cradle frame, and it does have a five-gallon fuel capacity. That seat height, like I said, is just under 26 inches, so, you know, it's going to be a low and mean ride. Uh, it weighs right at about, I'm going to say, and I don't have the poundage on it because I didn't have this, but it was, uh, it weighs right in at around 285 kilograms. That front tire size is an 80 by 90 by 19, and then the rear tire size is a 160, 70, 16. You know, bone stock, it's going to average right around 38 miles per gallon. You know, so that'll get you a good distance. That max torque on it's going to be 82 foot pounds with a top speed of about 118 miles an hour. And that's, you know, that quarter mile acceleration can get you right at about 13.2 seconds. On a full tank of fuel, you're gonna be running right around 146 miles. And again, that's on bone stock. If you customize it, it those numbers are gonna change. Now the 07 uh, Night Train, uh, it, it's the FX STB uh, Soft Tail Night Train model. The road's radical for this you know for this year night train now rolling on a wide 200 millimeter rear tire and a new twin cam 96 v engine it has six speed cruise drive transmission with a standard electronic port sequential fuel injection now the new extended rider foot pegs and brake pedals allow the rider to stretch out just much further than the wide 200 millimeter rear back tire. It's a black slotted cast aluminum with disc rear wheel, 
uh, color matching belt, sprocket under the bobtail fender, give the already intimidating night train an even more aggressive attitude. The dark side never looked better with all black powertrain, wrinkled black trim on those engine covers, and the air cleaner, oil tank, and rear fender supports. And black console is perched on that fuel tank. The raked FX front end with drag bars over 21 inch chrome lay steel wheel and the Badlander seat scream style for the street. The chrome aluminum profile, laced front wheel, forged polished aluminum disc rear wheels are all available as factory installed options. Now it's available in six solid colors including the three denim paint choices. All right, so the styling and convenience, like I said, it's got that engine trim, that black powder coated with that wrinkle black treatment. Um, the exhaust system is chrome, staggered shorty duels. The oil tank is black horseshoe with the chrome external oil lines, fenders and support rear bobtail wrinkle black finish. Those supports, like I said, they are also the foot supports and the control forward mounted rider foot pegs. Brake and shiver lefters are standard passenger foot and with the standard fat passenger foot pegs. The instrument panel, uh, it's electronic speedometer, it's tank mounted uh, with the odometer, time of day, clock, odometer, resettable trip meter, fuel gauge, low fuel warning light, low oil pressure indicator light, diagnostics readout LED. Now, fork lock, it's common with the ignition, key, smart security system, uh, you know, next generation, it's a hands-free system. Uh, the security fob operates based on proximity uh, of the bike. Uh, it does include the North America security system uh, immobilizer. Uh, outside of North America, the security system includes the immobilizer and the sirens. It was available in 12 colors, the Vivid Black, Black Cherry Pearl, Black Pearl, Black Denim, Pacific Blue Denim, and Pewter Denim, and a few more right in there. The recommended service intervals were, is within the first thousand miles or every 5,000 miles thereafter. And I found this information to be so very funny. Did you know that Harley even has a recommended weight of the driver for the bike? They state the maximum weight should be at or less than 180 pounds. If you're 180 pounds, that, I, I find that very hard to believe. But... Uh, they do recommend 91 octane or higher on the fuel. Uh, and standard or optional fuel systems may vary by country or region. Next up is our segment from Pat Haggard. Uh, he contacted us through one of our book face pages uh, and he is asking for help. Uh, he's the Regional 11 Director for the Abate, uh, the Abate of Indiana. He asked what can be done to generate more memberships and how to get others involved in leadership roles. Uh, looking for ideas on how to get the younger generation of riders involved because us old farts ain't getting any younger. Is it worth getting crowd traffic riders involved uh, and to what extent would they involve themselves? Would it be a good idea or would it leave a sour taste in some uh, and distance others even further. To start, we have to understand the ABA of Indiana and its cause. Uh, and I will guarantee there's a few out there that are asking themselves, but afraid to ask, what is an ABA? Well, the short of it is ABA is an acronym for American Bikers Aimed Towards Education. Now that you understand that, let's get started. Region 11 covers nine counties in Indiana, and its training facility is in Versailles. ABATE is an organization of volunteers. 
um, most every everyone you deal with uh, in Abate uh, also gives their free time and when demands become too high we reach what's referred to as burnout. Officers uh, understand a need uh, for 5, 10, even 20 hours a week devoted towards the cause uh, and you'll be dealing with all types of bikers and a multitude of personalities. American brand riders, Harley, Indian, Victory. Import riders like BMW, Ducati, Honda, Kawasaki, Suzuki, Yamaha, and more. Uh, you know, now, now, please also know this. Uh, if you've enjoyed being a biker, enjoy the freedom that goes along with our lifestyle. You have an ab to thank for this. If you've ridden without a helmet, without eye protection, without a reflective vest, and groups larger than three, ridden a bike with ape hangers, modified your engine in any way, and modified your drivetrain in any way, modified your transmission in any way, your exhaust, suspension. If you've ever put non-OEM tires on your bike or even worked on your motorcycle, you have them to think. What can be get, what can be done to get more members is simple. Eliminate negative attitudes. Ride to be known. Attend rallies, events. Hell, make sure you sanction your own. Make sure you print out flyers. Post all the major hangouts. Not just the ones that you attend, uh, but anywhere that can be seen. Remember, most failures are due to poor planning. Plan six months in advance. Proper advertising can be done. Establish good relationships with the press and local officials. And by all means, show confidence. Keep it interesting. Draw people in conversation asking simple questions at your local watering hole or anywhere that you can think of. Uh, organize poker runs. Uh, let's get some answers for Pat. Uh, as well as his uh, any responses that you can provide will be forwarded to him. Pat, good luck. Uh, I'm right here with you, and you know, keep on listening. Uh, you know, check the comments down below. Hopefully, we'll get uh, some answers for you. Uh, you know, uh, we'll see what the future brings, man. I have nothing but good hopes for you guys. Uh, again, the Abate of Central Indiana, uh, Region 11, Central Indiana, in Versailles. Pat, thank you for being a listener, and we'll talk to you very, very soon. Hey, y'all. Make sure that you stop into our sponsor, Rebel Road Authentic. Pick you up some of their merch, some of our great designs, such as this t-shirt, the We the Rebels t-shirt. You know, because we are rebels, and we're not getting any younger. Everything from custom vinyl decals, to drink tumblers, to your riding apparel. Visit rebelroadauthentic.com, pay them a visit, and make sure you tell them that Kickstands Up Radio sent you there. And with that being said, if you use discount code RADIO at checkout, you're going to save today. At this time, we'd like to thank one of our sponsors, Rebel Road Authentic. If you're in need of any custom decals, including motorcycle helmet decals or tank decals, reach out to them at rebelroadauthentic at outlook.com. Or you can visit their website and message them directly rebelroadauthentic.com they have the largest selection of fonts available online and other unique one-of-a-kind gifts personalized t-shirts drink tumblers and as a special gift to our listeners if you use your coupon code radio at checkout you will receive a 15 percent off discount All right, guys. All right. 
Back to our mailbag. You know, we had this request, and man, I tell you what, uh, it took me a while to get this podcast out because we had to do a lot of research on this. Uh, And so I might be a little bit late, but that's okay. Uh, Guys, this is what you've been waiting on. This is the Harley 2024 rollouts and the new colors that they're introducing. Uh, And some of them, guys, man, these things are badass. Wait till you see some of these bikes and some of these colors. A couple of them I'm really excited about. Uh, But you've really been waiting on this one. The new colors introduced this year uh, are new colors and, I'm sorry, the new colors that have been introduced this year along with what has already on the market are shark skin blue, red rock, alpine green, blue burst, white onyx pearl, billiard gray, and then the Atlas Silver Metallic, as well as Vivid Black. Now, Vivid Black's been around for some time, but uh, they still had it on this list. The 2024 models, they also include the Baja Orange. Yes, sir. Barracuda Silver. Abyss Blue Crushed Sapphire. Amber Whiskey. And then, of course, the black and chrome accents. Now, that's all going to be out there, you know, uh, for you to view uh, at your local dealer. Keep knowing that I'm going to be putting a link down below again uh, just so that you can see, you know, the bikes for yourselves. Go out and look. You're going to see the new bikes at your new dealerships. Uh, If you don't see the color that you're wanting, you know, talk to them. Because some of these things are going to be badass. Uh, Now, I got a little bit of sad news. Hence the bad music. Uh, But, sad news for you sporty lovers. Harley has discontinued uh, its 48 model. I know you probably have that sad face kicking right now. But with the discontinuation of some comes the rebirth of others. Well, here at Kickstands Up Radio, we do not pull any punches, blow smoke, and all that other bullshit. We're going to rev up the engines and dive deep into the world of Harley's new models and new colors. So, without further ado, let's get rolling. Now, Harley-Davidson has been synonymous with freedom, power, the unmistakable rumble that sends shivers down your spine. Today, we're going to focus on two particular beasts from Harley's lineup, the X models. Buckle up, folks, as we take a ride through the heart and soul of these incredible machines. First up, it's the Harley X350. This bike's a true testament to the classic design and the raw power uh, that has defined Harley for decades. The X350 boasts a roaring V-twin engine that produces a jaw-dropping amount of torque, giving you that signature Harley-Davidson riding experience. Picture this. You're cruising down the open road, wind in your hair, and the deep growl of the X350 beneath you. The bike's sleek design and attention to detail make it a head turner, whether you're at a stoplight or tearing up the asphalt. Now, we're going to shift gears for a second. We're going to go to the X500. This model takes things up a notch with its larger engine uh, and enhanced performance. The X500 is a beast on the road, delivering power and speed that'll leave you grinning from ear to ear. What sets the X500 apart is it's not just its power, but the advanced touring technology 
seamlessly integrated into the riding experience. From state-of-the-art suspension to cutting-edge electronics, the X500 is not just a bike, but it's a technological marvel. And let's not forget the customizable options. Harley understands that riders like to make their bikes unique. With a wide range of accessories and customization options, you can truly make the X350 or the X500 your own. Whether you're a seasoned rider or someone itching to hit the open road for the first time, the Harley X models have something for everyone. It's not just a bike. It's a lifestyle. It's a symbol of freedom and a tribute to the open road. Now, both models are meant to be great starter bikes for the novice rider and a slow introduction into the Harley lifestyle. At very affordable prices and great colors, you need to pay your dealer a visit and see if, if it's right for you. All right, so now we're diving into the Harley-Davidson Sport models. Specifically, we're putting a spotlight on two incredible machines, the Nightster Special and the Sportster S. Let's kick things off with the Nightster Special. Now, if you're into that dark and aggressive aesthetic, the Nightster Special is the embodiment of Harley's rebellious spirit. With its wide array of colors to choose from and its minimalistic design, the bike screams attitude. What makes the Nightster Special truly special? Well, it's not just about the looks. This Sportster model packs a punch with its torquey engine offering a thrilling ride whether you're cruising the city streets or hitting the open highway. Picture yourself in the saddle. The distinctive rumble of the Nightster Special echoing through the streets. It's not just a motorcycle. It's a statement. Now let's shift gears to the Sportster S. Harley's latest addition to the Sportster lineup, the bike is a perfect blend of modern innovation and classic Harley DNA. The Sportster S is a powerhouse boasting a high performance Revo Max engine that's ready to unleash its full potential at the twist of the throttle. With a focus on agility and responsiveness, this bike takes the Sportster legacy to new heights. What's remarkable about the Sportster S is its versatility. Whether you're tearing up the twists and turns of the back roads or cruising down the highway, this bike delivers an unmatched riding experience. It's a true testament to Harley's commitment to pushing the boundaries of performance and style. Both the Nightster Special and the Sportster S are more than just motorcycles. They're an extension of the rider's personality and a celebration of freedom that comes with the Harley lifestyle. Let's kick off the cruiser class with a true powerhouse, the Breakout 117. This beast of a cruiser doesn't just break the mold, it shatters it. With a massive 117 cubic inch engine, the Breakout delivers an unmatched combination of power and style. It's a force to be reckoned with on the open road. And check this out, it comes in one of the Harley's newest colors. And I'm telling you what, it'd be my choice if I owned one of these. It is the Alpine Green. I mean, look at how sexy that is. I mean, it, it's it's sexy. It's raked out cruiser style. It's Milwaukee 8117 powerhouse, full of V-twin muscle with a heavy breather intake and 21-inch front wheel and an 18-inch rear. It just looks mean as hell. Now, if you're craving a bold and aggressive design, our next cruiser by Harley is the Fat Bob 114. 
It might just be your soulmate with its dual headlights, inverted forks, and beefy 114 cubic inch engine. This cruiser is all about making a statement. It's not just a bike, it's a rolling work of art. Available in two colors, the billiard gray and the vivid black, it comes with a Milwaukee 8 114 powerhouse. It just gives it that distinct sound. Electronic cruise control, high performance dual disc front brakes for that added stopping power. Finishing off with its race style front suspension, two into two exhaust is sure to keep you wanting more. Speaking of iconic, let's not forget the Fat Boy 114. This timeless classic has been turning heads for decades with its unmistakable style and commanding presence. The Fat Boy 114 is a true cruiser legend, blending modern performance with a nod to the past. Now, speaking of decades, for those who appreciate a touch of nostalgia, the Heritage Classic. Now this brings a vintage charm to the modern era with its classic styling. With a rumbling engine, the Heritage Classic is a cruiser that takes you on a journey through time while delivering a thoroughly modern riding experience. It's available in a wide array of colors. My favorite is right here, the Vivid Black on Black. Man, I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful, beautiful ride. Again, this is the Heritage Classic. Go check it out. You never know, you might take one home with you today. Now, let's shift our focus to the performance-oriented models. The Lowrider S and the Lowrider ST. Now, these guys are a dynamic duo. It's like Batman and Robin. Bologna and cheese. Ham and peanut butter. Oh, wait a second. Not ham and peanut butter. That's just nasty. Anyhow, let's shift our focus to that dynamic duo. They combine classic cruiser styling with a sporty edge. Now, the Lowrider S feature here in this picture uh it's available in a huge wide array of colors comes equipped with that milwaukee 8 117 powerhouse cruise control moto handlebars mounted on risers as to give you that aggressive posture while riding and for your drip the tank features an fx lrs badge cover and dropped h logo first seen on the early harley race bikes and its partner in crime, the Lowrider ST. Available also in a wide array of colors. Comes equipped with that Milwaukee 8117 powerhouse with a heavy breather intake, high flow exhaust, jacked up rear suspension, high handlebars, and removable saddlebags. And for those who believe that less is more the Street Bob 114. Now this is a minimalist dream. Stripped down to the essentials, the cruiser is all about raw power and no-nonsense attitude. 114 cubic inch engine ensures that you're not sacrificing performance for simplicity. And again, this one is available in a wide array of colors, including the Baja Orange and the Blue Burst. The Milwaukee 8114 powerhouse is sitting on that soft tail frame. Evident for any true Harley enthusiast, along with those six spoke cast annihilator wheels. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Now to finish up our cruiser class is the Sport Glide. Now true to its name, it is a cruiser that invites you to explore both the urban jungle and the open highway. With its detachable fairing and saddlebags, this bike seamlessly transformed to stylish city cruiser, the long distance tour. 
giving you the best of both worlds. The heart of this machine is its Milwaukee 8 107 engine. With its torque rich power and delivery, this Sport Glide ensures that you have the punch you need whether you're navigating city traffic or cruising down the highway. It's a cruiser that doesn't compromise on performance. The design of the Sport Glide is a visual feast with detachable mini fairing as well as those detachable locking saddlebags. It makes it an easy transition from work to play. You get a bike that's not just eye-catching. Comfort is key on long rides. And the Sport Glide doesn't disappoint. The ergonomics are designed with the rider in mind, offering a comfortable and relaxed riding position. The bike suspension system combined with the comfortable seat makes those extended journeys a pleasure rather than a pain. What sets the Sport Glide apart is its nimble handling. Unlike some cruisers that can feel a little bit unwieldy, the Sport Glide feels surprisingly agile, making it easy to handle in various riding conditions. Now, Harley's cruiser lineup is a testament to the brand's commitment to providing riders with a diverse range of options, each tailored to different tastes and preferences. Whether you're drawn to the classic styling of the fat boy or the raw power of the breakout, there's a cruiser that speaks out to every rider's soul. Now, we're about to embark on a journey through the world of Harley's Grand Touring Models. We're setting our sights on a couple of remarkable touring machines that Harley has. First, we're going to kick things off with the Road King Special. This touring masterpiece is all about classic style and modern performance. Stripped down, blacked out design, the Road King Special makes a bold statement on the road. It's got that Milwaukee 8114 engine that ensures that it doesn't just look mean, it has the power to match. What makes the Road King Special stand out is its versatility. It's a touring bike with nostalgic aesthetics, featuring a detachable windshield, hard shell saddlebags, whether you're cruising through the city or embarking on a cross-country adventure, the Road King Special is ready for the ride. Now, let's shift gears. We're going to talk about the Ultra Limited. This touring giant is built for the long haul, offering riders a plush and comfortable riding experience on those extended journeys with its batwing fairing, spacious saddlebags, and a host of features. The Ultra Limited is the epitome of luxury touring. The heart of this beast is its Milwaukee 8114 engine, providing ample power and to effortlessly eat up the miles. But it's not just about the power, it's about the rider and the passenger experience. The Ultra Limited is equipped with everything you need for a comfortable and connected ride. Speaking of comfort, the Ultra Limited boasts a spacious and ergonomic design. The plush seating, advanced suspension, and rider amenities ensure that you can enjoy the journey without feeling fatigued. It's a true cruiser for those who appreciate the finer things in life. And finally, we're going to finish this list off with the 24 Harley Road Glide Limited. What sets these machines apart is their ability to redefine the touring experience. Whether you're a rider seeking classic cruiser with a modern edge or someone who wants the, the epitome of touring luxury, Harley's Grand American Touring Models are sure to deliver. Get down to your local dealer today Take a test drive. We've reached our adventure touring class. 
So let's dive into this exciting world of adventure touring with a focus on Harley's groundbreaking model, the Pan America 1250 Special. So gear up, because we're about to explore uncharted territories. Harley's known for its iconic cruisers. And now they have ventured into new terrain with the Pan America 1250 Special. Marking the brand's entry into the adventure touring segment is a bold move. And we're going to unpack what makes this bike a true game changer. And first things first, the heart of the Pan America is a revolutionary Revolution Max 1250 engine. This liquid cooled powerhouse delivers an impressive blend of power and torque, ensuring the Pan America is more than capable of handling a variety of terrains from the smooth highways to the off road paths. What sets the Pan America 1250 Special apart is its focus on versatility. It's not just an adventure bike, it's an adventure tour. With its adjustable suspension, its wire spoke wheels, and a suite of electronic rider aids. This bike is ready to tackle both the open road and the path less traveled. The Pan America 1250 is not just about performance, it's about adaptability. Semi-active front and rear suspension, multiple riding modes, and a suite of rider aids which include cornering ABS, traction control, and these ensure that the rider has full control in any situation. Designed with a long distance comfort in mind, the Pan America features an upright riding position, spacious seat, and a host of amenities. Whether you're embarking on a cross-country journey or exploring remote trails, this bike is engineered to keep comfort in command. Now, very shortly, let's talk about some of the aesthetics. It showcases a rugged and muscular design, blending Harley's heritage with modern adventure touring twist from the distinctive headlight to the high mounted exhaust. Every detail exudes both strength and style. Harley's bold step into uncharted territory and its exciting addition to the adventure touring segment is not just a motorcycle, it's an invitation to explore, to push the boundaries, and embrace the spirit of adventure. Now, we're going to slip into the world of Harley's trike models, the three-wheeled wonders that provide a unique riding experience. So settle in. We're about to explore the road with the freewheeler, the Road Glide 3, and the Tri-Glide Ultra. First up on our trike tour is the Harley-Davidson freewheeler. That's right, I said free, F-R-E-E, -E, wheeler, not three-wheeler. If you're looking for the feeling of freedom with the added stability of that third wheel, the freewheeler is the perfect choice. With its stripped down custom style, this trike embraces the classic Harley aesthetics while delivering a thrilling and secure ride. What sets the freewheeler apart is its ease of handling. Twin-cooled Milwaukee 8114 engine provides ample power and the chassis is engineered for stability and control. It's a trike that's not just about the destination, it's about enjoying the journey with confidence. One of the cool things is this bad boy right here. I love the vivid black with the black V-twin engine, but my personal choice would have to be that Alpine green. Wow. I can't wait. Now, let's shift gears to the Road Glide 3. 
with its distinctive shark nose fairing and muscular design, the Road Glide 3 is a head turner on the road. The trike takes performance and style of the iconic Road Glide motorcycle and adds the extra wheel for enhanced stability. The Road Glide 3 doesn't compromise on power. It also has that Milwaukee 8 114 engine, and that thing just roars to life, providing the rider with a combination of strength, smoothness. The trike is designed to offer a dynamic riding experience with a chassis that handles corners and straightaways with equal prowess. What's impressive about the Road Glide 3 is that it maintains the touring capabilities of its two-wheeled counterpart with its spacious storage compartment, comfortable seating, and its high-tech features. This track is ready for those long-haul adventures. All right, last but certainly not least, let's take a look at the Tri-Glide Ultra. This trike is the epitome of comfort and luxury. It's designed for riders who crave the open road, but they want that added assurance of the three wheels. The Tri-Glide Ultra is a touring powerhouse, boasting a wealth of features for both the rider and the passenger. The Tri-Glide Ultra is equipped with that twin-cooled Milwaukee 8114 that only ensures a smooth and powerful ride. With its spacious Torpac luggage carrier, infotainment system, and comfortable seating, this trike is all about making every journey an unforgettable experience. There you have it. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. And I would love to hear whenever you stop in at your local dealer taking a look at these machines, letting us know what you think, what your favorite colors are, what your favorite Harley engine is. Hey, why not? Let's let's do a poll. What is your favorite Harley engine? Leave your comments down below. Let's get that conversation going. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Listen to us on Spotify. Listen to us on iHeartRadio, YouTube, wherever you would like. Until next time, keep the rubber side down, the shiny side up, and we'll see you on that open road. Y'all be safe. Drop us a line. And until next time, remember, we love you. Peace out, brothers and sisters.